Hey, welcome back to Roman's Vivid World. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos so far, and I look forward to putting out more content just like this for the rest of the month. So, thanks for watching, and as always, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up button for me. All right, let's get started. Today's video is the classic 1980s psychological horror film produced and directed by Stanley Kubrick, The Shining. Of course, it's based on Stephen King's 1977 novel of the same name. And what's really strange is apparently Stephen King did not like this movie and criticized it because it deviated too much from his novel. And he thought casting Jack Nicholson was a mistake, which is really hard to believe because for anyone who enjoys this genre, this is like horror 101 and an absolute must watch. Okay, so it's very possible during this commentary that I drop spoilers. So this is a heads up just in case you haven't seen it. All right, now this film right here really got me as a kid when I first saw it. And even though I didn't quite understand it at the time, the imagery and the score for this movie constantly had me on the edge. Um, just listening to that opening scene where they're driving towards the Overlook Hotel still gives me an unsettling feeling. Uh, as far as the story, uh, it's about a guy named Jack who's given a job as winter caretaker at the Overlook Hotel where he brings his wife and son. Now, the hotel itself holds a sinister presence that over the duration of the movie influences Jack to become increasingly violent, go insane, uh, with various people telling him to kill his family. The problem is the only people in this massive hotel are his wife and son, so ghost? I don't know. Um, that's what I took from the movie. Although I have heard people say it's what happens in isolation over a long period of time, cabin fever possibly made him go crazy, and all the other stuff was just in his mind. I guess it's debatable. Uh, one thing for sure is that that last half hour will have you on the edge of your seat, regardless of how many times you've seen this movie. Now, my favorite part of this movie, uh, an actor who really only had a cameo in the movie, Scatman Crothers. Uh, he's a famous American actor and musician. Uh, and the reason he stands out for me is not only was he such a great actor, but he did voice work for so many Saturday morning cartoons I grew up with. I mean, he was uh, Hong Kong Fooey, Captain Caveman. He was in Scooby-Doo. Uh, I think his most iconic work, his voiceover work, was probably Transformers. He was in the TV show and the movie, and he played uh, the Porsche Turbo Racing Car, Jazz. So that's pretty cool. He's really an amazing actor. Now, this was not the only movie both Carruthers and Nicholson were in together. They were also in uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which is another great movie. All right, so back to The Shining. Um, I know they made a sequel to this movie called Dr. Sleep, which I never saw. So I'm wondering if I should put it on my watch list this month. Uh, if anyone's seen it and recommends it, Leave me a comment, let me know what you think, if it's any good or not, or worth it. All right, so, just a little bit about this piece I created. I wanted to focus on Jack mainly, and the reason for the silhouette is more of a time restraint, so I can upload videos on time each week. Uh, you're probably going to notice that a lot in my work this month. Um, but, I think the heavy shadows, uh, the use of blacks, it kind of adds to the overall theme, so I'm good with it. All right, this was a great addition to my Inktober playlist. Uh, I really had fun creating it. And for my fellow artists out there, um, as always, I'm using Speedball Black Ink, acrylic brushes, and Pigma Micron pens on each piece. Uh, each one is being done on 11 by 17 smooth Bristol board. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And while I definitely put more work into the art, I'm learning to do commentary as I go, so thanks for bearing with me, and I'm sure I'll get better over time. See you next video.